I just left. But anyway, today's episode is going to be about how to set up a leopard gecko tank. You might be wondering, are you really setting up a new leopard gecko's tank? Like, is this brand new? No, I was actually cleaning out my leopard gecko mango's tank. And so anyway, today we are just going to be showing you what it's... Oh, she's back. And she's got peppermint bark. Well, anyway, today we're going to be showing you how to set up a leopard gecko's tank. Woo! So, the first thing you're going to need is obviously a tank for your gecko. I prefer using a 20-gallon tank, but a 10-gallon tank will work, and the bigger the better. So, the next thing you need is a screen lid for the top of your tank. The next thing you need is a heat lamp and a digestion lamp. The next thing you're going to need is a thermostat for the warm end of your gecko tank, and you can put one on the cold end too if you want. So obviously you're going to need some sort of substrate. Some people use eco earth, some people use reptile carpet, and some people use paper towel. I'm using eco earth, and you may want to spray it down so it stays to the bottom better. The next thing you're going to need is a hide that your gecko can shed in. This is a DIY one that was made from a mushroom container. So the next thing you're going to do is spray the inside of your shedding hide with some dechlorinated water. And once you've done that, you're going to put some moss in it. I'm using sphagnum moss and it will help your gecko to shed. So you might want to break up your sphagnum moss just a little bit because it might be kind of clumped up in the package. And you want your gecko to be able to get into the hide easily. So the more separated it is, the easier it will be for them to get into that hide. The next thing you're going to do is spray the sphagnum moss as it helps with shedding and humidity and um, use dechlorinated water when you spray your sphagnum moss. The next thing you're going to need is a hide for the end of your gecko tank where they can go to get away from the heat lamp but still be hidden. Um, this hide is very big so I'm putting some green spangle moss in it. And whatever spangle moss you use, if you do decide to use it, make sure it is perfectly safe for leopard geckos because some mosses are not made for them to use. Next thing you're going to need is a hide for the middle of your gecko tank where the geckos can kind of be middle temperature. It's not as necessary as the other two hides, but it is still a very good thing to use. This next thing I'm adding is not as necessary, but it will still give your gecko something to climb on. This is a piece of driftwood. And if you do consider putting driftwood in your tank, make sure that it is safe for leopard geckos. The next thing you're going to need is a small calcium dish that you can put reptile calcium in. The next thing you're going to need is a food bowl for your leopard gecko. The next thing you're going to need is a water bowl for your leopard gecko. I'm using two because mango tends to drink a lot of water. The next thing I'm adding, which is not super necessary, but it definitely helps your left for gecko feel more safe, is decorations. Now, these decorations are not things that you would go and find outside. These are store-bought things that were made for leopard geckos, and they're not harmful or dangerous at all. So, here is my leopard gecko's tank setup, and this is what a basic leopard gecko tank setup should look like. The last thing you need to do once you have your tank set up is add some water to your water bowls and make sure it's dechlorinated so it is safe for your leopard gecko. Alright guys, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time we make a new video. And if you go on a computer or a cell phone to our community tab under our YouTube channel, you can see all of our polls that we have made. Thanks for watching. Peace.